Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 1 Legendary Edition where I did a little bit of housekeeping while I was waiting for the audio to uh, save and do its thing. Um, oh, I did want to look at really quick for Tally the her suit. I might actually give her the medical interface. Which works for her species too, honestly. Oh, okay, so the healing got rid of it. I was kind of like, oh, like why is it? Oh, I think it might stop regeneration, and then you have to heal it. I think it's it's like toxin or something. Oh no, we can't get through here. Oh no. Typical Gax deployment. We'll need another route in. Yeah, of course they block that route in, but they don't block the other route in. Pull. A one-way drop, Commander. Plot. You're right. We should save. Off we go! Make sure everybody... Damn it! I'm so sorry. I thought you were Geth, or one of those... Uh, do I look like a Geth? She says that no matter who you have with you, but you could potentially look at it as her being like, uh, assuming things about Tally. Because the Tally, or the Quarian and the Geth design, like, external design, look, uh, very similar for a reason. Um, like, the Quarians design the Geth, right? So, they do look similar in a lot of ways. At least externally. Hmm... You're safe now. But why were you here in the You're first safe place? now. I haven't done anything yet. It's my own fault. Everyone else was running and I stayed back. Uh-huh, scientists. The next thing I knew, the gets latched on and the power went out. I was trapped. I I tried to get out, but the way was blocked. We'll get you out as soon as we find out what the geth are after. It's not the geth. It's the energy field they put up. They don't want anyone else getting access to the uh, so for one thing, I literally, she's like, it's a one-way drop earlier, and I'm like, I literally could boost you up. I don't know if we could get Rex up. <laughs> hey, I've got biotics, man. I could, like, lift Rex, potentially, at least far enough and make him a little bit easier to, like, pull up if we were up there. Yeah, so that was not a one-way drop. Uh, also, I could just yeet Lisbeth out of there myself. Did you see how I'm, how far I threw Caden? The other time, earlier, when he was, like, in the throes of a gravitic field. Yeah, I can throw Lisbeth out. I'm here for the Geth. It's very important that I find out what they're after. I don't know for certain, but I'm guessing they're here for the Thorian. Thorian? What is that, exactly? It's an indigenous life form. Exogeny was studying it. It's so cool! What else can you tell me? Do you know where I can find this Thorian? I might be able to, but not with those geth crawling around everywhere. Look, we need to get out of here, past that field. Do you know how we can shut it down? No, not exactly. But I think the geth ship is powering it. I've noticed the geth laying power cables everywhere. You could follow those cables, but there's geth all over the place. Tell me what you know about the Thorian. I really don't know that much about it. I think it's some kind of plant being. I know it's very old. Thousands of years ago. Mm, they're not telling me everything. Tell me about yourself. I'm just a research assistant for Exogeny. I came here with my mother. I don't even know if she made it out alive. She's with some others from the colony. She's safe for now. She's alive? Oh, thank God. I thought I was the only one left. Please, Commander, just get that field down so I can see my mother again. I think that's one of the only instances that they reference God, honestly. Like, earlier we have a thank the maker. That's more of a call out to, um, Dragon Age, right? But I, I thought this game, for the most part, kept itself fairly, like, non-denominational. But, I mean, it would make sense that denominations would be in here. Since it's based off of present-day Earth, you know, just a little bit in the future. But that's interesting. At least that's one of the only ones I can think of off the top of my head. Why do you think the Geth would be interested in the Thorian? 
It's just a plant. I don't it's know It's just a plant. Exogeny was studying it, but I don't think they found anything special. Wow, you're such a liar. You stay put. I'll go open some doors. Oh, here, take my ID. This should get you past any lock. Did doors. you think I wasn't gonna find out? That field. Oh, I suck. I suck at aiming. Why can't I aim? Like, legit. Freaking, they're just. I am. Yeah, stop biting me. They're so freaking beefy. I think I wish I could lower the sensitivity a tiny bit. I just need to I just need to learn how to not. Oh, I was like, it exploded. That's because it's cryogenic. Hey, Elizabeth, give me, give me a give me a med kit or something. Tally's not doing so hot. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think she says anything. Hey, as soon as you go, I'm gonna find a place to hide. Okay, you stay put. Good luck with that field. I'll go open some doors. Don't even worry about it. It's fine. I don't think there's anything in here. Like anything to open up that has like med kit stuff in it. I'm sure we'll find more as we go along, but Tally, jeez Louise, she's... the problem is with melee attacks like that, right? It goes straight through your shield. So we had full shield power, but they're biting us. <laughs> Doesn't matter. The shield's only stupid machine. Access encrypted files. No, I don't want to review protocol. Another Krogan. Unable to comply. Please contact your supervisor. Damn it. Tell me what I want, or I'll blast your virtual ass into actual dust! Please contact your supervisor for a level 4 security exemption, or make an appointment with- STUPID MACHINE! If there is nothing else, please step aside. There is a queue forming behind you for the use of this console. They purposefully make it look creepy. Like, very, uh, translucent. Opaque? Transparent? Uh, hold on a second. Hold on a second, buddy. Just- do that. Um, are you in stasis right now? Nope, you are not. Okay, well, let's just. Ah. Ow! Uh, no! Miss some of them. I'm gonna die to these guys. <laughs> you know, it would maybe be easier. I can't do it right now. It would maybe be easier if I used a mouse and keyboard, honestly. I can't I don't know how I survived the first time. I think I lift I somehow managed to lift multiple. And this time I cannot, uh, I can't seem to do that. Oh my gosh. Did we, did we make it? Are there any more? At least they both survived this time. Rex has a bit lower health. This is gonna be great. We're gonna, they're gonna, we're gonna survive this very well. I did not boost our health up for this. Oh yeah, Rex regens. He's Krogan. He's very sturdy. He also has a regen booster, I think. But just as part of his Krogan physiology, they regen. No, I don't want to review protocol. I am unable to comply. Damn it. Tell me what Please I contact us. If there is nothing else. Nope, I am tr trying to get that stupid ability. Okay.
it goes. Oh no. Yeah, none of that running and charging stuff. Are you dead? You can never tell. Exogeny Corporation reminds all staff that the discharging of weapons while on company property is strictly forbidden. Welcome back, research assistant Elizabeth Bainham. What can I do for you? Uh, how do you know I'm Lisbeth? Your access card identifies you as Elizabeth Bainham. Is there something you require? You'd Dr. think Bainham? they'd be sophisticated enough to check and see if your facial scan matches your, like, identity card. What information was the last user attempting to access? Fetching data. The previous user was attempting to access details on the study of subject species 37, the Thorian. Tell me everything you told the Krogan. I was unable to provide the previous user with any relevant data. Aside from lacking proper access, there has been no new data available on Species 37. All sensors monitoring the observation post at Zoo's Hope have been inactive for several cycles. Say what? What does Zoo's Hope have to do with the Thorian? Species 37 is located within the substructure of the Zoo's Hope outpost. Tell me everything you know about the Thorian. The Thorian is a simple plant life form that exhibits a sentient behavior uncommon with other flora. Mm. Through dispersion and the eventual inhalation of spores, it can affect and control other organisms, including dun, dun, dun! humans. The control group has yielded interesting results. Before sensors went offline, almost 85% of all test subjects were infected. This is what they've been doing. They haven't been able to find anything of value, air quotes, but they found one huge thing of value. The Thorian that they have a, that they that they basically turned Zeus Hope. The Exogeny has like voluntarily like planted people on there. Either either they put the people there or they realize what was happening and then let it happen and are doing like these experiments with like a, like a mind control. And that's why the, that's why the colonists were acting so weird because they're being freaking mind controlled by this like really very old sentient plant. Are you saying Exogeny knew its people were getting infected? It was deemed necessary to assess the true uh -huh. of species Heartless. 37. That's why they were acting so strange. Your pilot should be warned. Joker, come in, Joker. Damn it, that field's blocking us. We've got to drop that shield and get back to the Luckily, island. all my people are inside. However, we were there, and we should technically, potentially be infected. And that's something that I don't think ever comes up. VI, what can you tell me about the Geth ship and the field it's generating? I have limited data on the Geth. They have effectively blocked all sensors within the facility. I have detected unusual power fluctuations, but am unable to determine the source. What do you know about the Geth? I have no specifics on the Geth as they relate to this facility. All sensors have been purposely decommissioned since their arrival. Please access my personal files. Elizabeth Bainham, Research Assistant, Biomedical Division. Security Level 4 Exemption. You are currently under probation due to disagreements with management over established company policy. These sanctions may be lifted if your next evaluation is more agreeable. Mm. What triggered the probation? You were marked as combative about the operations of the Zoo's Hope Project, specifically regarding the handling of the infected colonists. As a result, you were tasked with monitoring the safety of the colonists for the duration of the observation. So basically, I think they might say it later, but they're like, uh, oh, I think she says it later, actually, when you confront her, but it's like she was threatened. Like, okay, if you keep complaining, we'll put you down there with them, or you could just monitor their safety from here, you know what I mean? Like, and make sure they're taken care of, despite them being used as freaking guinea pigs. Tell me about the Thorian. Species 37 was discovered several weeks ago when a small team was infected with spores while examining ruins near the Zoo's Hope outpost. The outpost was quarantined immediately and study of the infection began. Within 21 days, 58% of colonists exhibited altered behavior. Within 28 days, 85%. Do you know how the creature controls its slaves? The will subversion manifests as intense pain if directives are ignored. 
the effect is severe enough that subjects are soon conditioned against even minor thoughts of It's abandon. in your head. Observation suggests the Thorian views its thralls in a utilitarian way. Care is apparently taken to avoid injuring them, much as a craftsman avoids damaging his tools. As long as no action is taken against the creature's objectives, the subjects are free to pantomime a normal existence until specifically tasked with Could something. you imagine where it's just like you freaking have to wander around pretending like your life is normal, but knowing like inside like you're just screaming because it never will be normal, except you can't even scream inside because Thorian will punish you because it's inside your head. But then like as soon as it like tells you to do something, you have to hop to it. You know, it is. It's just pantomiming a normal life. Is it intelligent? Can I reason with it? The Thorian does not exhibit the focused behavior of a predator. The release of spores is an act of survival, not aggression. It does trigger advanced behaviors in the humans it enslaves, but we have yet to discover whether it recognizes or is capable of recognizing humans as more than tools. It is sufficiently alien as to defy classification at this time. It also isn't just like humans aren't just prone to it, right? Like they have a Solarian down there that's been sucked into it too, right? That, that would be something you'd want to control for in an experiment like this, as reprehensible as it is. What's the size of this thing? The Thorian appears to be a diffused creature. Its cognitive abilities are centered in large nerve bundles, but it received data from kilometers of meandering tendrils. That's dope! We have discovered bundles approximately one meter in diameter, but these seem insufficient to coordinate the massive sensory potential it possesses. It may simply process such stimulation slowly, or perhaps there is a nerve cluster of a greater magnitude we have not yet encountered. Where's the center of this thing? The Thorian is present as a weave of tendrils across much of the lower surface of Pharos. Observation of enslaved subjects suggests there may be key clusters that are tended by thralls. Unfortunately, direct observation of species 37 is limited or non-existent. Yeah, because nobody else wants, nobody who's doing the experiment wants to get like sucked into it, right? I want to know about Exogeny Corporation. Exogeny Corporation is at the forefront of human expansion in the new galactic economy, funding colonial development and securing resource rights to ensure our progress. Oh, as yeah, species. yeah, yeah, yeah. Further progress is species. Company policy may be directed to consumer information services during regular business hours. Who's in charge here? Who organized the research? All decisions about local resource analysis and acquisition are made by on-site management deferring to the board of directors only when seasonal quotas are missed or exceeded. Individual employee records are confidential. Mm. That's enough for now. So that didn't tell me anything, right? Me. Didn't tell me anything useful, truly. Like, or who was running it. Like, everything else is like, whoa. <laughs> I doubt anyone's still alive in here. The gas are very thorough. All right, let's save again because you never know what you're gonna run into. Actually, we do. We're gonna run into Geth. You know that much. At least these fires are keeping the place cozy, even though it's probably literally burning fumes. So this is a unique situation where you never see this happening again to my knowledge. But... It's only ever explained slightly, at least as far as I know. I think I've had some various discussions about it, but... I'd say say your prayers, but that's, that feels a bit cruel, so, uh, but it is, you wouldn't think potentially that robots would be worshipful, right? I think that's one of the things, like, the AI would be, um, worshipful, but here they are, you know? Like, it's just, I don't know, it's an interesting, like, sociological response being shown from a a type of creature that I don't even I don't even know you call like non-organic creatures creatures. <laughs> anyway, it's uh it's just it's interesting.
like their docking style, but how do we cut the power if it's coming from the ship? It will be difficult. We can check the other claws for weaknesses, but the Geth are very thorough. I like their docking style. What is this place? Almost looks like the Geth built themselves some kind of church. The Geth blur the line between organic and synthetic life. It's natural to assume they seek understanding from a higher power. Also, they were created by an organic race that potentially has- I don't, I don't know quite what the- I think the Quarians might have some sort of like ancestor worship, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, but yeah, they were they were created by beings that often do believe in like higher powers of some sort, you know. And so you know, uh, a code the code is only as good as its creator, right? And even though that they are like advancing and evolving on their own, like, they still have that framework, you know. So, so they are latching on with their, with their little with their little geth claws. Little Geth ship claws. Go away. Oh, nice. Oh, geez. Don't go down. Down, 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 down. Oh, this thing is messing me up. This shield right here is messing me up. Regenerative? Am I regenerating? I didn't think I regenerated. Unless I have something on my suit that does that. Do I? No. Okay. Well. I am regenerating, so there's that. There's one of these places that, like, there's, like, a corner you can turn around that I always miss. Oh, no. Like, I'm trying to push it away. I, I, I tried to push it away with Rex, but it didn't... I don't, sometimes when they don't have line of sight, they won't do it. <sighs> what? I thought I saved before this, or after this. Did I not? Oh, well. Okay, I'll be back. Hopefully I remember to edit this out. I leveled up, so real quick, I'll put some points into Vanguard and Spectre. I'll actually up the Unity on us. I was gonna put it into Lift, and I still do want to do that, but if I get Advanced Unity, increased amount of and and health and shields restored. So I don't... It'll be nice. Especially since we die a lot. Also, it gives me increases in your health and accuracy and all that, so that's good. The assault, right? He's only got two. Blarg. Alright, we'll do fitness and assault rifles. Um, first aid. Satan damping. I, I 
with her, I am not... I don't know if I've said it. I probably have, but I'm not super concerned about her weapons. Her weapons are her abilities. So, there's that. Alright, we've saved. We've done what we needed to do. And now we need to survive this again. Well, you know, not again, but sometime, somehow. cheating I think by using the um Oh, this is his? Oh, there's something else you can download, like, towards the end that I thought was it, but apparently not. It, it is something else. It does lead to a quest of sorts. The Naginata Sniper. A new shotgun. Think any of these. Not that I'm having her use her shotgun, but on occasion she might need to use it. How do I get out? This might be the one where I always get messed up on where I'm supposed to turn. Oh, dang. Hey, this works out, kind of. Because, uh,. I need to go. Well, not, I need to end the episode, rather. Uh, well, my hair just went in and out. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it. I hope you enjoy it, and I hope to see you in the next one. Hello, everyone. Here's the little Patreon addendum that I'm throwing into the last few videos that I've got. Uh, thank you so much, Scalamonger, for your sapling pledge. I appreciate it very much. And thank you, Reese Galito. Thank you so much. I, I really appreciate it a lot. <laughs> um, thank you again to both of you who are both sampling tier uh, pledge patrons, patrons, um, and thank you to Christopher, who's a patron at the tree level. Um, so thank you all so much. Again, Scalamonger, Rescalito, Christopher, thank you so, so much. Your support really does make me very happy. <laughs> so uh, thanks again, and I'm gonna end the video here now. <laughs>